And we start with our top story tonight at 5, a closer look at the background of the man accused of shooting and killing an Elwood police officer this past weekend. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Birchelle Edme. Carl Boards II spent some time in prison for shooting an IMPD officer back in 2006. He was sentenced to 25 years and served 15 of them. Fox 59 investigator Courtney Crown is working to find out why he was released early. So what have you learned, Court? Well, Bear Shell, I've discovered the length of sentencing is in the hands of state lawmakers in many instances. Attorneys tell me the state house sets the sentencing range for each felony and the definition of the charges. At the time of Carl Boards' sentence in 2006, nearly everyone convicted of violent felonies served half their sentences if they behaved. If they don't maintain good behavior, they could end up serving the entire sentence. In the 2006 case, Boards was originally charged with attempted murder, but a jury of peers did not convict him of that charge. Instead, they found him guilty of criminal recklessness, resisting law enforcement, drug and gun charges. Ralph Staples, who was not involved in the case, explained that sometimes a jury convicts on the lesser charge. For example, the prosecutor may have proven one, two, three, four, but didn't prove five in the lead charge. One, two, three, four, and five may have been proven may have been proven in the lesser charge. Therefore the jury is authorized then to convict on a lesser included offense as opposed to the lead charge. Attorneys say no matter how heinous the allegations, the jury, judges, and lawyers are required to leave their feelings outside the courtroom. Jurors are instructed that sympathy, bias, prejudice, feelings are not to factor into the decision they make when evaluating evidence. And when a judge decides the sentence, they must follow the rules of the legislature, which is to begin at the advisory sentence. That sentence, that number, is where a judge must start. And the judge will work up based on the presence of aggravating factors, work down based on the presence of mitigating factors, and arrive at what the judge believes to be an appropriate sentence. And we know these are complex topics, and we are working right now to speak more with those directly involved in Boards' original case, the one in 2006. We'll keep you updated on what we uncover. Beershell and Dan.